Welcome to Coffee Break, five minutes with God, five minutes in the Word of God, five minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. Psalm 108, I'm going to begin reading in verse number one. O God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise even with my inmost being. I awake, or I should say awake, sultry and harp. I myself will awake early. In other words, he will praise God with his voice, but that doesn't seem like that's enough. He wants to give God more. He wants to add musical instruments to his praise. If something can be done, if something can be used to honor God, then we ought to do it or use it. Three, I will praise thee, O Lord, among the people, and I will sing praises unto thee among the nations. Whoever spends time with David will know that God is important to him. It won't take long for you to figure that out. The idea of relegating God to an hour on Sunday morning and not including him in decisions and in conversations and in normal areas of life. The idea of excluding God from the rest of your life and the rest of your week is not normal for a person who knows him. If somebody doesn't talk about God, if somebody doesn't talk about Jesus as naturally as they breathe, then how important is God to that person? Not very. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks, the Bible says. For, <clears throat> for thy mercy is great above the heavens, and thy truth reacheth unto the clouds. The only thing that keeps even the best people from being consumed by God's just wrath is his mercy, his great mercy. His compassion, the Bible says, never fails. He always has a new batch of mercy ready to cover any new sin that we might commit. And someone says, Marat, you shouldn't say that because then Christians will just want to sin and sin and sin. Well, if they do, they're not real Christians. God's mercy and his forgiveness is not seen by a real Christian as a license to sin. Oh, they appreciate it. They appreciate it so much that they love God all the more and want to be that much more holy in order to please a God who is so good. That's how a true Christian responds to the unknowable mercies of God. Five, be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens and thy glory above all the earth. The creation, including outer space, with all of its galaxies is so majestic and massive, but God is infinitely more massive and majestic because he's the one who made it all. And a person has to be more than what he makes. So the next time you look at the night sky, give God praise, give him glory. He made it all. Study the whole Bible with me, verse by verse, Genesis through Revelation, at the Scripture Verse by Verse website, found at thebibleversebyverse.com. To be a part of this ministry, pray for me and God's Word. Click the Donate button at the top of the front page at thebibleversebyverse.com and prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. Until next time, Michael Moret for Coffee Break. So long, everyone.